Hi, my name is Mark and welcome to this month's Tea Tasters. This month we'll be sampling a delightful second flush Assam. The Assam region is in the northeast sector of India and straddles the southeast border of the southern Himalayas. So this Assam is unlike some of the other teas that you might have tasted because this is made from the Camellia sinensis Assamica which is predominantly different from the high growing Chinese teas that we associate with a lot of white and green teas. First uh, noted in 1823 by Robert Bruce while in Rangpur, this tea has hit tables across the world in its most popular format, Assam tea. So the first thing we're going to do is boil some water for use with our wonderful Assam tea. Just before a rolling boil, the ideal temperature to yield the best flavours and complexities of this tea. So let's put the kettle on. So here we are, here we have our Assam tea. And you can see here that this is a tippy variant, so all those beautiful bronze and golden tips within the tea. Now the Assam tea prospers in a very low, very humid climate and yields a very, very magnificent, malty, astringent and aromatic taste and flavour. Okay, so we're going to make up our Assam tea and have a taste. There are 845 tea gardens in the Assam region. And Assam accounts for about 51% of all the tea yielded from India. So I put my teaspoon of Assam tea in our tasting crockery here. I'm going to add some boiling water. Oh. The smells absolutely delicious already. Nice fresh tea. We're going to leave that for about three and a half minutes. I might be more inclined to go to four because I like a nice strong cuppa. Okay, so I've given this four minutes and now we're going to have a, a little taste. So I've got my crockery here. And then we're going to allow that to diffuse and empty. Oh, beautiful. You can already start to see some very, very rich caramel colouring in this liquor. Nice biscuity smell, nice and rich. Now, interestingly, we've talked a lot about the Assam region. Also produces one-sixth of the total world tea production. So certainly not a tea to be sniffed at. Okay, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to have a good old smell of this sample here. Now we know that 90% of perceived flavour is through taste. So I'm going to have a really good smell and see if I can start to identify some of the aromas in this uh, infused tea here. You can see it's got a beautiful red hue to it and it's going to be an absolute delight to drink. So here we go. Ah, oh, beautiful. Biscuity, malty, astringent, lots of flavour. It's going to be beautiful to drink this tea. And just look at the quality of that infused leaf there. Absolutely superb. So what we're going to do now, we're going to have a taste. I can see very good clarity through this infused liquor got good diffraction with the light, this is going to be beautiful. So I'm going to take some up here in my spoon. Smooth, malty, good length, the flavour staying in my mouth for quite a while afterwards. This is going to be brilliant for all you milk fiends out there. And of course, anyone who likes a spot of sugar, they're going to enjoy this as well. Okay, you can see this month that we've delighted ourselves with some tea from the Assam region, but it's also worth noting you can buy a lot of Twinings Assam products online by visiting twiningsteashop.com. Whether it's loose leaf tea you're after, 50 tea bags, or if you're like me and you like a big box, even 100.